Hello everyone, Yensid Organist here. Welcome to a special Friday night live stream. Hope you guys are all having a good day today. So to make up for the lack of Wednesday stream and also the lack of other content on the channel this week, we're streaming tonight. Um, Cause yeah, I've been working like crazy all week and needed to just kind of chill and play some Minecraft tonight, so we're just going to have a nice, relaxing stream here. And, yeah, uh, this is like my new favorite place in the world, by the way. Um, yeah, or at least until the castle's built, then that will probably be my new favorite place. So, yeah. Um, so, we are going to go mining for diamonds, um, and we're going to do that until I get bored with that, and then maybe we'll do some other grindy things, depending on how long that goes. YouTube is trying to tell me something. Hang on. Wait, what? There it is. Okay. I don't know what it was trying to tell me, because it went away. Good evening, Muradim. Welcome. I'm loving every part of this town, too. So, I'm glad you are as well. Oh, the sun's going down. Let us sleep before... Um, before we go in, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a thunderstorm if we spend enough time down in the mines. Um, yeah. Let's see. Sleepy time yet? Sleepy time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, off we go. Uh, oh, it's over here. E can I make it? Close enough. <laughs> I decided I would start mining for diamonds in another part of the world. So we're over here now. It's a long drop to the bottom. <gasps> there we go. Good plan. You're prepared for if you get a thunderstorm. Um... Well, if I, I'm more hoping for a thunderstorm for the possibility of skeleton horses rather than going um, for looking for creepers. So um, I'm planning. I'm actually planning a full episode for that. So torches, there they are. Okay, and here we go. And I have to remember to sort of count. <laughs> um. Yeah, so, Moradim, I don't know if you can see chat that I posted earlier. Um, let's see here. I think I might have to do the um, TFC version of um, mining and torching, where I just stand and torch, so that, that way I can talk <laughs> without having to... Um, Without having to worry about where I'm placing my torches. So, let's see here. And I'm going to make it... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Walk too far. <laughs> yes, so that is the trailer for the latest um, Disney animation film that is coming out next March. Um, and I... Um, I, I, I want to give my thoughts on all things Disney animation that's been going on this week. So if you haven't seen it, you might want to go check it out. It's pretty cool. I would say spoiler alert, but it's a trailer, so it's not like they spoiled anything. <laughs> Yay, that's a good start. Shiny, shiny diamonds. I checked... Um, Ooh, was that an eight? Yes, it was. Yeah, kind of came out of nowhere that they were releasing the trailer for it. Um, and according to them, it's going to be in theaters in March. I really hope that's the case. Because for a person who doesn't like going to the movies, um, it's not that I don't like watching movies. I've just never been a huge fan of going to the movie theaters. Uh, but after seeing Frozen... Nine times? Eight times in the theaters? And Star Wars. Um, in the span of about three months, I'm really missing going to see a movie. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that is the case. And I know some theaters are starting to reopen. So, um, 
Yeah, but very excited for that. So let's see here. Oops, didn't want the cobblestone. And that's just gonna sit in my inventory unless I place it down right now. Goodbye, cobblestone! <laughs> How many diamonds did we get? Eleven. That's not too bad. So... Yeah, so we've had... <laughs> <laughs> we so Disney so they they released the trailer for Raya and the Last Dragon on Wednesday and then today on Disney Plus they released they released Once Upon a Snowman which is kind of the what do we call it the origin story for Olaf from Frozen um and the trailer was amazing. The Frozen short was uh, it was it was good. Um, <laughs> is that a, oh, that's just a hole there. Okay, I feel like I'm going way too long, but it's okay. Um, so let's start with the trailer because I. I'm very excited for this. So this is Disney's um, 59th animated feature. It's coming out in March. Um, yeah, we don't know much about it. It looks like it has um, um, kind of an Asian setting to it. I don't know. Um, Japanese, Chinese... Um, maybe Indonesia. Um, obviously, it's a you know fantasy made up land um, for the movie, but yeah, really looks really really cool. Um, and um, yeah, very excited. Apparently, it is not going to be a musical, um, but apparently, Raya is being billed as the next Disney princess. So, should be very interesting to see what her story is there. Obsidian. Interesting. Zombies. Also interesting. Ooh. Oh, haha, -ha, look at that. Let's see here. And we'll just place the stone in there. That'll be fine. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I know, right? <laughs> and I don't know if that's, you know like, has something to do with the style of the movie, or, you know, they just did a big musical movie in Frozen 2. What came out right before Frozen 2? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I can place that there. <laughs> but I don't... Was it, was it Ralph Breaks the Internet? Was that the one that came out right before? Might have been. Moana? No, Moana's a little bit older than that. I feel like I should know what it is. I think it was Ralph Breaks the Internet. I do really feel like there was another one in between, though. <laughs> uh, ooh. That's a cave up there. Unfortunately, it's up there. I feel as though I should feel obligated to go light it up. So... That'll work. Uh, let's see. Torches are in my offhand. So, um, but yeah, so the trailer looks ab absolutely amazing. I'm very excited for this movie. Uh, really? I came all the way up here for that? I am disappointed. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to clear out my inventory of torches, and then we'll turn around. Unless we hit something worthwhile. <laughs> so yeah, so that was that was the good, that was the absolutely amazing um, trailer. This movie looks epic. Hopefully it will be epic. This was a cave I found earlier. Uh, we'll keep going. 
So let's talk about Once Upon a Snowman, and this will be this will be spoiler free. Um, but yeah, so this was a uh, little short film in the frozen world, following Olaf from the point where Elsa creates him during Let It Go until he meets up with Anna and Kristoff. I guess I should say spoilers for Frozen. <laughs> More lava. And more cave. Oh, yes, I've been here. Okay. Um, I think let's turn around. Let's go here and turn around. Right there. So, yeah. So, Disney announced this, I don't know, a couple of months ago that they were coming out with a new short. And I, 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 I voiced my... <laughs> you learned by watching me. <laughs> um... And 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 I've said, you know, I, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm glad we're getting something new, Frozen. But I, I'm getting a little tired of Olaf, and so, um, but I was excited. I'm always excited for new Frozen content. Um, so I got up. I I woke up this morning before school, and I had time, and it had it had in fact been released in the middle of the night. So I watched it. It's just a little like seven minute, um, short, and. Hello, diamonds. It was cute. It was fun. It was funny. It was Olaf. Um, okay, I'm a little concerned that there might be more lava around here. So let's just let's just clear this out to be on the safe side. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh oh, nope. There we don't go. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Every new piece of Frozen gives you more to work with. This is true. Yes. So let's see here. I want to break that and hopefully place that. There we go. All right. No worries about... Nope. 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 I want to fortune this stuff. I don't know why. I like to fortune diamonds as I go. The only thing I'm fortuning as I go. But... Ooh, 25. Apparently, streaming was what it called for because I've been I've been diamond mining all week and I've not had very good luck. So the luck of the stream, right? <laughs> what do you have to say? You have to say, man, I feel like I haven't found any diamonds tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I I enjoyed it, but um, as I said, I'm I'm a little bit Olafed out, and and I know I know that people love Olaf, and he is a great character. Um, you know, he was in Frozen, he was the comedic relief, um, you know, which was a lot of fun, he's, he's you know, he's a cute character, he's, he's a great side character, um, you know, and really, for, for being a comedic relief side character, has a lot of depth to his personality, and then in Frozen 2, I think they did a really good job, <laughs> stream luck can run bad too, that's true, <laughs> um, but yeah, in Frozen 2, I thought they did a really, really good job developing his character. You know, he's three years old now, and so he's kind of going through a, a you know, an existential crisis. <laughs> um, as much as a snowman can go through an existential crisis. Um, you know, but we really got to see him develop as a character and I really enjoyed that character development. His song was great in Frozen 2. I could I can live without um in summer, which is his song from the original Frozen. It's fine. Um oh I'm gonna sneeze. Or not. <laughs> oh wait, I lost my window. There it is. Okay, I'm back. Um but yeah and back this spring, three years, a snowman is way past a midlife crisis. This is this is true, um, you know. And so this spring, um, they did this whole series of um, Olaf at home, and it, there were like I don't know, fifteen or so um, little short, like you know, two to three minute videos that they released on YouTube of Olaf. And they were a lot of fun. They were something that was really nice, you know, during the lockdowns and the quarantine and all of that, just to get a little bit of Frozen. And Olaf was the perfect relief that we needed. And so now they've done another Fro Olaf Frozen short. And, um, I was telling my daughter about it. She hasn't seen it yet, but I was telling her, you know, my initial reactions. I said, it was cute. It was fun. It was funny. It was unnecessary. Um... 
Yeah, and I, I think they were trying a little too hard with it. Now, now don't get me wrong. I, I did enjoy it, um, and I've watched it a couple of times now. But, you know, where Olaf was kind of developing this philosopher personality in Frozen 2, they tried to interject that into this short, and I really feel like it didn't work. Um, it was just, you know, it's like, hey, I'm alive. Hey, I'm having, you know, an identity crisis right off the bat. Like, really? I don't know. It was a little bit of a struggle. The lesson they have learned is if it makes money, beat that dead horse. Yes. Um, I, I, I agree, and I think they're misinterpreting because I think the majority of the fandom wants more of Anna and Elsa. Um... Hello. Five, six, seven, eight. That is, is that the second eight vein or is that the third eight vein? Okay, stop talking. <laughs> what are we up to? 42, nice. By the way, I have a stack and a third in total of diamonds. Um, and I need... 216 blocks, which is roughly 2,000 diamonds. Um, so, we're getting there. I think that is, what, a little over three stacks? Maybe three and a half stacks? 40, is it? Oh, it's 42! We have the answer to life, the universe, and everything in diamonds. Ooh! Cave? Ooh, cave! Yay! And I hear monsters. Uh, oh, zombie. Z. Zombies, plural. Hey, 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 put that down. You might hurt yourself or someone else. Okay. Oh. Is this it? Boo! I was promised a cave. I got a hole. <laughs> but there is coal. I'm here for the coal, and I'm here for the diamonds. The rest is icing on the cake. Because I don't have any reliable source of renewable fuel right now. Um... Certainly no um, easily farmable, um, efficient fuel. So, let's see here. I'm going to have to deal with that when I come back. That's fine. But yeah, so, you know, I hope they continue to do stuff with Frozen. I think they will. I, I think, you know, it's a popular enough thing. I really would like to, um, you know, I, I, I think that Disney could completely salvage 2020 by announcing Frozen 3. <laughs> we we will we'll see if that'll happen in the next month or so. Um, I'm trying to remember how long it took them to announce Frozen 2. Um, after the initial... Okay, let's see. What do I not want? Granite, diorite, diorite, dirt. Um, I don't need all this stone. I would like andesite, so let's make a spot for andesite. I don't have... Did we really not get any gravel? And let's go ahead and do that for coal. That'll be good. Okay. Let's see... I am going to be walking there. Future planning. So, but I hope I, I hope if they decide, you know, if they if they're gonna go the route of doing shorts, which I'm all in favor of, I do enjoy them. Um, you know, let's 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 have the next one be something about Kristoff, Kristoff and Sven. Um, you know, it would be kind of cool to see how like they became, um, you know, a, a a duo. Ooh, we're gonna need to dig this cave this way a little bit more. Hi, emeralds. Clearly, I've gotten into the mountain biome. <laughs> I heard lava. Ooh, lava. Cave. <gasps> Cave! K 
cave that goes up, which means cave that is not going to yield diamonds, but cave that will be lit up nonetheless. Maybe it'll surprise me with something. I managed to get a record from a cave I was exploring earlier. Oh, uh, is that a ravine? Oh, hi. Gotcha. Big, scary open room. <laughs> oh, 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 shinies. Cave that goes up can you drop mobs on your head. True. Let's see. We would probably have dug through this. Well, that's all right. I'm getting them now. I'm here. And they're here. Whoa, 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 what the? Oh, apparently I'm in beacon range. Hello. <laughs> Just one. But we got, ooh, we got four from that? All right, I'll take that. Um, okay. Well, that's kind of nice. I would not have thought I'd be in beacon range because all of my beacons are up high. Oh, yeah, this is totally a ravine. Hi, creeper. Creepers be creeping. Creepers be dying. Uh-oh, uh I'm out of torches. Zombie, I'm out of torches! Don't hit me when I'm out of torches. That's rude. Uh-oh. Nope, somebody else. With a shovel. I shot a bat. I always love, you know, when you go through, like, all the mob statistics, and it's like, you have killed 20 bats. You have been killed by bats zero times. I want to know if it's possible to be killed by passive mobs. <laughs> like, if you entity cram in a pit of a bunch of sheep... Does it say, you know, you were squished to death, or does it say you were crushed by sheep? <laughs> Alright, this is really not what I want to be doing. How would a bat kill a player? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and bats fly, so, like, they're kind of exempt from the... Like, entity cramming rules? Ooh. Ah. I was going to say, somebody else is shooting me. There we go. I should probably eat something. I should probably run away and eat something. Run away! Run away! I really think they need to bring back the exploding rabbit. <laughs> Good grief! Is there a zombie spawner up here, or are they just social spawning? Beware updating even floor gravel. Yeah. <laughs> I hear... Where are they? Just heard somebody land. Oh. <laughs> They're probably in that ravine over there. No. Ooh. Jerk. Oh, I thought I saw diamonds. Turns out they were emeralds. Ow! Meanie. Oop, hi. <laughs> I see. Okay. I think we're not going to hang around here.
Found all the mobs. <laughs> well, that went in a circle. Let's see. Any diamonds? New? New? I'm not sure. I don't even know if we're still at diamond level. I think that was a ravine. I think we're getting out of here. <laughs> I will grab this coal, though. Also, how is my supply of actual coal going? And eh, we're fine for now. I'll update that later. Ooh, that's from the creeper. I'm lost. And I'm back in beacon range. All this was because I was setting up to do more tunneling. <laughs> on fire. And that's a ravine. Goodbye. You're stuck. Now you've been stuck with a sword. Oh, me too. Uh, I think I just turned myself around. I did the hokey pokey and I turned myself around. That is an emerald ore. Okay. No, that was where I found the diamonds. found a um, abandoned mine shaft, which we actually saw. We actually mined through it um, earlier. Um, but I managed to work my way through the entire thing and not get lost. And I think that may be the first time that has ever happened to me. <laughs> I normally end up running around in circles for about 10 minutes and then just digging up and digging my way to the surface. Okay, we are back. Excellent, and here we go. We're going to go right here. <sighs> Samara Dim, how are the alphabet and number houses coming along? Well, the bridge doesn't do much good if you break it as you try to get to it. Didn't get lost in a mine shaft. Feel like a a grin up. <laughs> oh, grown up. <laughs> Oh, this was the mini cave of nothingness. <laughs> Let's see, what level do I need to be at? This level. Is that one up? Two up. Almost done with all the alphabet. Half the numbers, working on punctuation. Nice! 
Yeah, and I remember you saying you were working on like all of the like um, little used or no longer used characters. Always oh, texting me. <laughs> <sighs> friend of mine with an aptly timed political meme. <laughs> I did not watch the debate last night. I was too busy editing. Ash, Wynn, Eth, Ethel, Thorn. <laughs> I was reading all about those. Some of those need to make a comeback. <gasps> Hello, diamonds. Also need more torches. Oh no, that was a mistake. There we go. We're almost at a stack. Nice. What time is it? It's only wow, we're at a, we're almost at a stack of diamonds and it's been a half an hour. Chose to watch Prairie Pirate Yo stream on Twitch instead of the debate. I think that was probably a wise decision. You know, I kind of wanted to watch it, but at the same time, I'm like, nothing that anybody is going to say in this debate is going to change my mind. <laughs> So, you know, other than for entertainment value, there's no point in watching it. And that's as political as we're getting in discussing politics on this channel. I don't discuss politics in, on the channel. <laughs> oh, good. Apparently, I've seen... Apparently, there is early voting in Michigan, which I did not think was a thing in Michigan, but apparently it is. Unless by early voting, they mean mail-in voting. Um, uh, I don't know. Um... But yeah, I I'm, I'm just planning to go on election day. If I can go to school, if I can go to church, I can go vote. <laughs> if I can do other things without getting covid, I'll send you pictures <laughs> on Twitter. Um then um Wait. I'm too high. Hmm. Okay. Well. That is a deep subject, by the way. Let's see here. <clears throat> Although on the bright side, if I had not come to this height, I wouldn't have found those diamonds. Because I don't think any were in the floor. Okay, well, we need to go back down. Because we are too high based on that. So we should be there. Okay. Four days at the lake, visited four cemeteries, came home, drove to another cemetery. <laughs> I remember when I was younger, we always used to, I always used to go with my grandparents to, to um, flowers, and we had like four different cemeteries we went to. I remember we this one cemetery, it was a very small one, out in the country, back in the woods, and the, um, the gravestone that we always planted, it had this bush growing out of it. Um... That after several years, 
really kind of was getting out of control. So one year we went up and we took all of the stuff that we needed. My grandfather and I just ripped the bush out. It took us like an hour to get that thing out. Spent four hours with his best friend. So I was five years old and she moved in next door. Nice. Oh, hi, lava. I think this was the lava that I said, oh, I can leave this. We're almost to the end, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to hit that cave system pretty soon. Okay. gonna come a point where this doesn't. Last cemetery trip was to check on the headstone. We had to reset. Oh, okay. And this is where I'm going to turn around. Turn around. I can't think of a way to Minecraftify that song. As soon as I come up with it, I will start singing it. <laughs> this morning in choir, um, our advanced women's choir is currently ringing handbells. Um, and I have been um, doing the handbell rehearsals, which has been a lot of fun. Um... But I, I don't know what led to the thing, but I was starting to make Gaston references. They, so they were saying something about me having, like, raw eggs for breakfast or something. I guess because of the energy that I have. I don't know why raw eggs would be getting that. And I was like, no, every morning I eat four dozen eggs. No, wait, that's five dozen eggs. <laughs> and then I told them we need a, we need a handbell ringing parody of Gaston. It's a lot of fun. I have been playing since sixth grade. My mother was in the handbell choir at my church. And I tagged along a couple of times. Because um, I was always fascinated by it. But I was told, I'm too young to play in the handbell choir. And so I went one time with her. And sure enough, somebody didn't call in and say, hey, I'm not going to be at rehearsal tonight, so I got to ring. They were like, well, we, I guess we need somebody to ring. You, you can go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, and the next year I joined full-time. This, this, this was the adult handbell choir, and I was in it in seventh grade. <laughs> and I've been hooked ever since. I'm hooked on a ringing... <laughs> Is there a too young thing? <laughs> well, I mean, in all fairness, I brought the average age of that group down by about 30 years when I joined, so... <laughs> Willing to learn any and every instrument someone would teach me. I have a I have a goal of learning to play every instrument. Or I, I should say like every reasonable instrument. <laughs> you know. Essentially that which would fill out a symphony orchestra. So, you know, major brass, major woodwind. I play the violin, so theoretically I can already play the viola, the cello, and the bass. I at least know, like, the mechanics of it. <laughs> I want to learn to play the washboard and the spoons. I think the spoons would be cool to learn how to play. I've heard it used, I've heard them used in some Celtic music, and it's really, really cool. I kind of have in my mind that I want to learn bagpipes. Um, 
the church I grew up in, we had a bagpipe player. And, um, yeah, I was not a fan of bagpipes growing up. Um, it was always this, really? This is that instrument? And then I got to my current church, which is a Presbyterian church, which was founded in Scotland. Um, and my senior pastor at the time was really big on St. Andrew's Day. Abby the Spoon Lady. Okay, I will check that out. Um, um, yeah, so he, he, you know, he was really big on cele celebrating St. Andrew's Day, which was the founding of the Presbyterian Church. And, you know, we have, you know, this whole thing, you know, with bagpipes and all of that. And so we had this, we had this piper who would come in and would play and do, you know, like the opening hymn or whatever. And, um... He was amazing. And I'm sitting there, and I, I, it was just kind of like this. You know, the first time I heard him play, I'm sitting in church, and I had this realization. I'm like, oh, that guy that played the bagpipes when I was younger in church, he wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, start by learning just the chanter. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, yeah, and ever since then, I have absolutely loved the bagpipes. I, I, I didn't know until I was in, you know, in my 20s that it doesn't take 30 seconds to get the bagpipes going. <laughs> but yeah, such a cool instrument. I'm not sure that I have the lung capacity for it, but... I don't know. I do sing. Practice chanters are affordable. Okay. It's the Cave of Deceptions! That means we're almost back. And I'm almost out of torches! I think we're gonna do a resource dump after this run. Also have an auto harp. Nice. I'm out of torches. Ooh, I'm also out of coal. Uh-oh, that's a problem. I have run out of coal. Um, It's fine. I'm, oh, not a torch. A stone. Emma, knock it off. She's obsessed with trying to get into my room lately. My animals are not allowed in my room. Because I have learned in the past that if you allow the pets access to the bedroom, they will vomit on the bed. <laughs> so yes. Um, but yeah, she's, she snuck in there a couple of times and has discovered that my bed is a very cozy place to take a nap, especially when the door's shut because she's not bothered by the dog. <laughs> yeah, I only have a craft closet. <laughs> Although Emma has been known to, um, try to steal my yarn. So there is that. Okay. So where are my rockets? I wonder if it's night or day. It is 10.15. I'm betting it is... I'm betting it's night. I lose. Hmm, nice sunny day. Ooh, 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 ooh! I have to show you my friends. First, I have to put all this stuff away. Let's see. I think this is where I'm putting the stone. Okay, that's fine. Just throw the sticks on the floor. I should probably fortune some of that. Oops. That. And then regular rocks. 
I don't know why I'm putting those away. Yeah, so after in the last video I said, oh, you know, I really need to do the data pack so that I have, so that I can make, you know, the wooden walls. Yeah, um, I completely spaced out on that because I totally forgot. <laughs> I was doing something later and I'm like, wait a minute. I did make a data pack for wooden walls. There they are. They look like that. <laughs> Because I remembered I had to redo them because I had I had initially done them just like you would do stone walls, so a, a, a three by three, but that's the recipe for wooden trap doors. So I added um, a couple more so that that would, in fact, work. Um, but I also spent a little bit of time and, oh, lag, hello, lag. I pacified the whole patrol. Also, I've either never gotten close to them, but they look like lumberjacks. <laughs> I've also decided, um, I, I realize I named them Future Arendellian, um, but I've decided that um, when I build one of my ships out at sea, wooden chest plate will never be a thing. This is true. Worst time taking off from the water. Arrgh. There it goes. Um, they look like a pipe band. Yeah, they kind of do. Um, but yeah, I decided that once I build a ship that's like actually out, um, build it in such a way that they can't escape from it, um, and then I will make them the crew of said ship. Which I really want to build another. So, I don't know. We might have to do that sometime soon. I really need to establish where the rest of the harbor is before I put any more boats in it. Whee! Okay, pull up! Oh! <laughs> the jammy dodger. <laughs> yeah. My durability on this is getting a little low. That's all right. All right, let me make the rest of these torches. I didn't put the diamonds away. Yeah, let's not make a mistake here, shall we? I have a shiny box now. This is where I keep all my shinies. Look, it's another stack of diamonds. Yay! Seven more blocks. So that takes me up to a stack and 28. Getting there. Let's see. So a stack and 28. So if I were to get a stack and a half, I'd need four more blocks. So I need 36 more diamonds. Okay, that's the goal. That's the goal for the rest of the night is 36 more diamonds. I think we can do that. I hope we can do that. Might have to go make a... Uh, um, <laughs> might have to make a repair run, but that's okay. That won't take long. Hi, lava. Cave. Um, let's see here. is this? Is this new? Oh, this might be new. I'm also making it very dark. Oh, no. We've been here. Oh, yay. <coughs> oh, yeah, I know where we are. Oh, we're about to go under that ravine. I hope that we do, in fact, go under the ravine and don't hit lava. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, did I see a drip? I thought maybe I saw a drip. The Cave of Disappointments!
Hopefully we're almost done traversing the Cave of Disappointments. I should get a sign and label it that. That would be a waste of time and sign. Not the Instagram person I want to hear from. I really need to up my Instagram game. <laughs> Lots of exciting things coming to the main channel. Um, the last couple years, I've been attending this workshop by a um, this guy that I've been following his podcast for years. Um, and obviously, no workshop this year because of um, you know COVID. Um, um, and so, but he does like, you know, individual coaching sessions. So I, I had a coaching session with him this week and yeah, got some exciting things planned. I'm going to do a couple of concerts. Um, yeah. Um, one in November, one in December. And then, um, yeah, I have a number of arrangements that are in the works getting ready to go and will be coming out very soon. I'm, I'm finally kind of back into my arranging mode, which I've been out of for a while. Um, this, uh, the video that came out tonight took, um, well, the arranging itself took like a month. The actual piece wasn't that difficult to play. Um, But yeah, that one just kind of, it wore me down a little bit. But I have, let's see here. I have two more Disney arrangements ready to go. Technically, one is Pixar. Um, but two more um, that are written and are being worked on right now. Theme songs are back next week. Um, just in time for Halloween. For sure will be the Munsters and the Addams Family. Um, Twilight Zone is written. It's just a question of whether or not I'm going to be able to learn it this weekend with enough time to record it. So we shall have to see on that one. Although saying that, could I possibly record Thursday? Possibly. I don't know. I'm going to try to make it work. It's written. Um, it's just... <coughs> It's so weird that it's going to be difficult um, to be able to learn quickly. But I will do what I can. Um, unfortunately, my day tomorrow has been very filled because, um, yeah, it's been raining for the last two days. So I haven't been able to mow my lawns for my lawn mowing business, which means I have to do them all tomorrow. In addition to teaching piano lessons, oh, and Big Ten season starts tomorrow. Um, and my alma mater and my, um, um, the school that I actually root for, at least in football, are both are playing each other tomorrow. Um, so I really want to watch that game because I've only seen bits and pieces of football games this season. Um, yeah, and I have to get ready for church on Sunday and I have to record, start working on an Orgocraft video. Um, yeah, so we shall see. Um, yeah. But yeah, so, so lots, lots of good stuff coming and I'm really excited. Um... Yeah, really excited for things to come. Uh, 
Actually, you're the perfect person to ask this um, question. Are churches in your area open at, like, normal capacity? Are they, like, limited capacity? Um, ooh, what is this? Is Ooh, ooh, I think this is something new. Um, because I am trying to find places where I can do recitals, and so I'm looking at states that are, you know, opening, um, which Michigan is clearly not high, Diamonds, um, you know, so I was thinking Florida's probably a good place to look, I was thinking Texas might be good, what the, no, 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 Time to rob proof the this. <laughs> okay. Any yep, uh-huh. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Fight amongst yourselves. No 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 no. Run away! Run away. <laughs> also, I'm out of torches. I think it's half and half. Your son's in Fort Worth is fully open. Some are still half capacity by choice. Okay. That's cheating. Oh, feeling some lag. Wasn't there a zombie? I don't know, but there's another skeleton. I thought there was a zombie. I don't know, there's an enderman. There's a zombie. Ooh, a couple endermen. Don't mind me. Oop, something in there. You had to do outside protest concert of patriotic songs. <laughs> you know, there are a couple of outdoor organs. Unfortunately, the ones that I know of are in California. I was reading something. I don't know if it was an official statement Disney put out or if it was comments from, like, a Disney executive. Um, and, like, they are ticked off at the state of California um, because they are saying, like, we have proven that we can open safely, um, you know, and that we have, you know, appropriate safety measures in place, you know, but the state of California is imposing all of these arbitrary rules, um, you know, that we can't follow and are not going to do anything, um, other than, you know, you getting to throw your weight around and tell us you have to do things this way, you know, um, yeah, they are, they are ticked that they're not allowed to reopen. Um, good evening, Wolfhound. Welcome! Nice to see you back. Yeah. Well, and I've seen firsthand, um, you know, the safety measures that they have in place. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I think, I think they are going above and beyond what is needed. Um for safety in the parks. Oh, no, no. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, they're not allowed to reopen in California. So the, everything has reopened in Florida, um, with the exception of some of the resorts, um, but that's just kind of a measures they're taking to limit capacity. Plus, they are doing renovations on some of the resorts. Excuse me, Mr. Enderman. I cannot be held responsible for my actions if you walk into my line of sight. 
Um, but yeah, like, so, you know, California is apparently saying, yes, you can, but you have to do every single thing we say you have to do because they, we're the government and we've decided to do that. South Dakota should be open. Okay, that's what I was thinking, like, South Dakota, North Dakota. Um, I don't think they ever shut down. I was thinking Wyoming, but I, I don't know how many, I don't know how many pipe organs there are in Wyoming. Also, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, is that really all there is to this cave? Well, that's a little disappointing. Yeah, it just keeps going up. South Dakota didn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was a seven. Nice. I have no room in my inventory. I don't need this junk. Just those wall diamonds. Yep. 16. Only need 20 more. Oh, I think I need to fortune some coal. I do need to fortune some coal. Family in California, right near some of the fires. Ooh. House didn't burn down, but all the neighbors did. Ugh. Well, I'm glad theirs didn't. Yeah, that's... um, Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess in California, for sure. Um, Yeah. I haven't heard I haven't heard any update on the fires. Are have they gotten under control? I broke my torch. Cousins there are safe so far. Oh that's good. I have a friend who has family in Oregon, um, and they had to evacuate. She was saying, I guess that the I guess the fire was stayed far enough away from their house, but they they accidentally left a window cracked. Um when they left and they come home and everything inside was just covered in soot. Did I walk over something that I would need? Oh yeah, there's coal back here. Hello. Oh, I've been here before. <laughs> yep, been here, seen that. Now I have pieces of cobblestone taking up my inventory space. You know what? <laughs> we'll just use these chests to deposit things I don't want. That, that, that. That. That'll do. something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, I did! <laughs> Look at me being practical. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me you know, I, I I can I can relate so many things to to musical and movie references. Um, <laughs> practical and I'm thinking practical assault. So now I'm going to start singing um, "Kind of Woman" from Pippin. torches soon. Oh yes, so um, 
So we got um, new guidelines from the state of Michigan about, you know, choirs and bands and orchestras and all of that. Um, and we haven't been singing since the start of school because we were under the impression we were not allowed to sing. Um, and so, you know, we got these guidelines and the choir director and I are reading through and, and we're like, okay, this doesn't look like anything different from what we've already been told. And then she came back to me a little bit later. She's like, nowhere in here does it say we're not allowed to sing. So we're going to start singing. And are you kidding me? I need... Where's my coal? There we go. Um, and so um, I was in school yesterday and... Um, I was working with the I was working with the bell choir um, in our second hour, um, and my we we have two groups that we're doing. Um, sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong. Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. But yeah, so the second group, um, they finished up. Um, we, we finished up about five minutes before the end of the class. And so we went back in and I opened the door and the other half of the class had been rehearsing the song that we started working on. And so for the first time in seven months, I heard a choir sing. And I'm not kidding, it brought tears to my eyes. Um, I mean, it was just the most beautiful sound. Um, yeah. And then I got to run over to the piano and actually accompany them, which was icing on the cake. It was even better. Hi. Still not the person I want to hear from. Is this just one? Oh, nope, it's a sneaky. It was an eight. Oh, we're one away. We did that in two veins. That's pretty good. I mean, I guess technically we're going to need three veins when all is dead and done. Uh-oh, my inventory's full. Oh, what did I just hear? I thought I heard a creeper. Apparently not. I have had more luck when I go off mining off coal, finding um, diamonds. So now we only need one more. You know, whenever I hear the carpenters, I just can't help but, you know, be on top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation I can find. <laughs> I love carpenters. One of my all-time favorite Christmas albums. But we are not doing Christmas music in October. That is only appropriate if you are rehearsing for a band or something on an instrument. Otherwise, you keep that stuff away until... Mm, the week before Thanksgiving, please. <laughs> I was talking to one of my piano students last night, and she said, Oh yeah, there are radio stations playing Christmas music. I said, What?! There it is. Oh, there it isn't. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> I'll stop now. Um, what to throw away? What to throw away? How
One, two, three, four, five. Nice, a fiver. That's good. And hey, look at the. Whoa, we are almost up to 45. Just don't get it. With you. Yeah, I, I don't know. Although I had to laugh. Um, this summer, and I might have told this story before. So this summer, I was driving out to Wyoming, and I'm just flipping through channels at random. And um, I come across the station. Now, mind you, it's June. So it's not like Christmas in July. It's June. And this station, I kid you not, is playing Barry Manilow because it's Christmas. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'll go with this. So I listened to it because I, I like that song. And, you know, it was totally random, totally caught me off guard. We're going to go down another one. Um, and I'm like, oh, they must be doing Christmas music. I don't know why. But, you know, it's 2020. Just about anything goes at this point, right? Next thing that plays is like some heavy metal song. <laughs> Not Christmas at all. And I'm just like, what the heck have I found? Unfortunately, five minutes later, the station went out of focus. <coughs> But yeah, it would have that that would have that would have been an interesting an interesting station to follow. And no, I didn't phase through two different stations. It was very clear like this ended. Hey, this is the um um you know, this is the station and then into this next song. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of heavy metal. This wasn't like, you know, like screaming raging heavy metal. Um, probably wouldn't even have been classified as heavy metal. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was intrigued, to say the least. <laughs> Ooh. I find it really annoying that you cannot place torches on the side of um, redstone blocks. Neighbors decided one Fourth of July to blast death metal, <laughs> death metal mariachi. <laughs> that um. <laughs> This is an interesting con co combination. <coughs> oh, I have a tickle in my throat. So I dragged the boombox outside and blasted bagpipes back at them. You won. <laughs> Nap time? Ooh, I heard that. Is it time for me to sing into the unknown? Happy to listen to mariachi, but not metalachi. <laughs> yeah, mariachi I can go for. Um. Hmm. 
There be gold in them there hills. We're not going after it. Add a tuba to mariachi and you pretty much have polka. Yeah. <laughs> I always enjoy some polka music. Of course, I'm Polish, so, you know. What's up, Lucy? Do you ever watch reruns of Barney Miller? Um, probably. Probably when I was younger, but it's been forever. The name is familiar. characters was Polish. So that comes into the episode. Okay. Yeah, nothing that's coming to mind. Especially people <laughs> unable to read his name. I have no idea what that's like. don't have anything I can get rid of. I mean, I have plenty of stuff I could get rid of, but not that I'm willing to part with. So, we go on. Although, you know what? I do want more of this. No. Andesite. It's always good to have andesite. I feel like I'm always running short on it. Hi, diamonds. You know, I should be um, putting my silk pick in my offhand when I do these things so that I can repair it. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure my armor is full. And that silk pick is getting down there. The funny thing about my last name, um, the part of Michigan where I live, a lot of people with Dutch heritage. And let me tell you, Dutch last names have some crazy silent letters in them. And then they balk at my name. Just because it starts with a silent H. <laughs> Character with Stanley. Ooh. I want to say Voikhaus. Wojo Hoitz. Okay. <laughs> I was nowhere close. <laughs> Wait, 
Where's the accent in that name? Or I you should say which syllable is accented. Woe and ho. Wo 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 Johowitz? Wo Johowitz? Is that how you say that? <laughs> I had a friend who went to Duke. Um back in the Wojo wo wojo ho I'm 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 really struggling with this. I don't know why. Um But yeah, so I had a friend who went to Duke. This was back in early two thousands. Um you know, and they had, you know, Big Basket, and he was always telling me about, you know, oh, you know, how awesome, you know, Coach Krzyzewski is, you know, and how, you know, they have, like, this, you know, big, like, um, you know, tailgate before the basketball games, and, you know, everybody's hanging out in Krzyzewskiville, you know, and I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, and, and you know, and I was following Duke Basketball, and, you know, I was like, oh, this guy's cool, and, you know, he's, he's a really, he's a really good coach, um, I believe I have um, hit the extent of how far we're going in this tunnel. <laughs> um, yeah, and then people start talking about Coach K, and I'm like, Coach K? Who the heck is Coach K? You know, only come to find out that Shashevsky starts with a, because I think it's K R Z. <laughs> yeah. Nephew attends Duke for his master's program. <laughs> It's a good school. Actually, I'm pretty sure they have an organ school or an organ department in their music school. I don't know who teaches there, but... I've been getting a lot of lapis tonight. 30. Well, 30 plus... Th so that's 30 since we dumped all the resources. I love lapis. It is one of my favorite blocks in the game. The ore, the actual, like, lapis blocks, um, or, like, blocks of lapis lazuli, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, great color to it. Ooh, don't want to mine that out. Yep, don't want to mine that out either. <laughs> ah, you know what? We don't need the rest of that. Ooh, high cave I haven't explored yet. High little branch tunnel that goes nowhere. And I'm out of room in my inventory. Well, we knew that. Oh, I just had lava. I could have gotten rid of some stuff. Oh, well. Now I've lost my tunnel. So Mara Dim, are you are you team mycelium or team grass? <laughs> Alright. We're gonna be smart about this. 
then we're going to switch back so we can actually get down there. Wait, what did I do? I put the wrong one in my offhand. Dang it. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, it's getting worse. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, is that all of it? I've just undone everything that I did. <laughs> okay, silk in the offhand, and then fortune the diamonds. That didn't do much, if anything. Team puzzle, yes! <laughs> Team puzzle for the win. <laughs> the answer is secret third option C. <laughs> I'm so glad he did that. Yeah, puzzle is definitely the best of the three blocks. <laughs> the grass is nice. I'm actually kind of getting inspired for my own mushroom island, um, and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna like split it right down the center and do half as podzol and half as grass, because the grass does look amazing in a in a mushroom island. Um, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do it in thirds. <laughs> I actually thought about possibly doing my zoo on the Mushroom Island. What the heck was that? I got a foghorn outside my house. How close are we to being back? Ooh, we are not close at all. Will the pickaxe last? 310 dirt. Oh, it should. <laughs> We're not that far away. <laughs> He's my ceiling from time to time. Yeah. I like it. I, I absolutely loved watching the sheep be unleashed on the, <laughs> on the island. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. And have, have you seen Scar's latest video? I think it came out yesterday. Gravel, you're in the way. I should actually be taking the gravel. Because gravel is useful. Oh my goodness. So he did that montage with the wolves killing the sheep. <laughs> and then he cuts away from it. He's like, that might have been a little over the top. <laughs> that was one of the best lines, I think, of the season. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. 
so we can actually get at things. And then switch, and fortune, and I'm gonna need to, really. What do we get rid of now? More stone. More stone! So going on, Emma? Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently I'm out of torches. Right, I can't shift click that. I have no place for it to go. Hey, we finally passed the Cave of Disappointment. I think we did that on the last pass-through. again. Okay. That's fine. Getting lots of good resources. I kind of want to fortune all this coal when we get back. I have a lot of coal. <laughs> One of these live streams coming up sometime in the next few weeks. We're going to start... Certainly got the 36 diamonds. Yes, indeed. Um, we are going to start a map project. Because um, I have two that I want to do for this season. Um, at least initially. We'll see how go and we'll, we'll see how go. Clearly, the words they have left me. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes um, with those two. They're not going to be nearly as involved um, as the um, the um, Earth Project. Um, they're just going to be um, a couple of two by threes, um, but they are portraits that are needed for the castle, um, castle interior. Um, and I think I want to get started because. I enjoyed working on that, and I think those would be good stream projects. Um, and, you know, I, I kept that secret last um, last season because I wanted that to be the huge reveal um, at the end. Um, 
you know, but these are not, this is not nearly as big a project for this season. So I thought it would be fun to kind of actually like do that on, on a stream. So I've got to, I've got to find the pictures that I need and get everything set up and then start doing resource grind for that. But, um, yeah. And then we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, as far as like actually getting them in, I had I had a pretty good system down where I could usually do them in a couple hours, um, provided I had all the resources ready to go. Some of them were harder than others. Oops. I hear lava. Let's see here. Here we go. Um... I'm sorry, I'm confused. Um... Where the heck am I? <laughs> Did I tunnel through the main tunnel? Um, <laughs> yep, went right through it. <laughs> We shall play the guessing game once again. Let me know what you think. Is it day or is it night? I see that my stream is a little while well beyond. <laughs> that doesn't look like home. No, indeed it does not. <coughs> How many diamonds did we end up with? <clears throat> Stack and eight. Nice. <coughs> Ooh, that gives me an even number of blocks. Cool. Day or night, day or night. The longer we stand here, the bigger chance it has of it changing. <laughs> I vote day. Eager beaver miner. Indeed. I vote day. It's night. I'm wrong twice. Where the phantoms? Oh, where the phantoms? Oh, 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 all the mobs. Hello. <laughs> Is it safe to go down here? Hopefully. I may not be able to sleep. I can sleep. Yay. And now we open the back door, and we watch the things burn. Well, except for the... Uh-oh. Except for the creepers. <laughs> Look at all the mobs on fire! <laughs> Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Bye, creeper. Okay. Uh, let's see here. First order of business. Diamond blocks. Second order of business. Shiny box. Third order of business. Cool. 
out and find a fox. Fourth order of business, get it to wear some socks. Fifth order of business is a bagel covered in locks. Sixth order of business is a trip to Fort Knox. I'm sorry. In honor of Corrales, a trip to Fort Knox. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of coal. I don't think we're going to fortune all of that. We'll do eight stacks. Where are we going to fortune it from? We'll go over here. We're going to see just how much... Oh, ow! What did... You will not knock me off my tower. It's a sneaky one. And I just shot that block. <laughs> the challenge will be, will we pillar all the way to build height? <clears throat> the question is, what height am I at? We're going up 128 blocks. Or... Is that right? 128? Eight stacks in a pillar of four? Yes. No, we won't get to build height. done three stacks. That would be... No, I couldn't have done... Oh, well, maybe. What's sea level? Ah, I got off my rhythm. I threw off my groove. <laughs> Clouds! Really thick clouds. C is 63. Okay. How many more stacks do I have? Oh, this is the last one. Yeah, we're not going to get to build height. What are we at? We are at 182. So build height is 256. Oh, even if I just go all the way up, we're not going to get to build height. Well, I'm doing it anyway. Because why not? <laughs> I just thought my Minecraft fear of heights was triggered by standing on top of that ship. <laughs> Ooh, 
237. All right. Offhand. There we go. So this is eight stacks of ore. So take your guess as to how many coal we will get from this. Coal tends to fortune pretty high. So I would guess, I would, I'm gonna guess 14 stacks. Fortune's nowhere near as high as lapis. <laughs> Break a lapis block and you get like 32 of them. You're okay unless you have to jump down. <laughs> I have a friend who described his fear of heights in a way that perfectly describes my fear of heights, is I have a problem with them until I'm above the point where they'll kill me and that where falling from them will kill me, and then I don't have a problem with them anymore. <laughs> well, you're guessing 23 stacks. All right. <laughs> oh, definitely nap time. Well, next Friday is season two of The Mandalorian. Very excited for that. I don't know, this is getting my pickaxe quite well repaired. <laughs> I hope I get down to the ground fast enough to pick up all this stuff that is uh, going off the sides. <laughs> I really hope that with like the um, the whole like local water levels thing in the cave update, that they apply that to the overworld so that we could have rivers that actually flow. I think that would be really cool. I know there are some mods that do that. Um, Sevtech was one, um, and I realize Sevtech is a mod pack, and so there's a mod in there that does that. Um, but it's really, really cool, and I would love to see that in the vanilla game. Okay. Oh, many entities. Many, many entities. <laughs> All right, to get it all? I think so. Okay. So. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and a bit. So that's almost two stacks of blocks. <laughs> nice. Cool. I think my smelter will be in good shape. <laughs> I haven't actually needed to smelt anything for a while. 
Yeah, and I still have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 2. Yeah, I think I don't know, need to make a priority of um, gathering coal ore next time I go mining. Um, yeah, all right. Well, <coughs> I think that's going to do it for tonight. <laughs> Lots of coal, indeed. Ow. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. This is much, this is definitely what I needed after a very long week and I have a long weekend ahead of me. So yeah. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you in Orgelcraft Monday night and should be back to normal stream on next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. See you real soon. <laughs>